everybody, it's Dan Martin. Today's video is going to be on how a golf swing is, is the true alignment of momentum. And since a golf swing is a transfer of momentum through various segments of the body and, it ex and we try to get it to extend out of us and then also align it at the same time, there's certain laws of physics we need to understand. And breaking these laws of physics causes every bad shot in golf, okay? So let's start with what the good is. What I want to learn how to do, and I'll use my training aid here to, to, as an example, I need to learn how to get momentum to expand out of me, okay? So what does that mean? Well, that means I have to move in a direction that gets a swing to happen on a very, very specific angle, something I learned through practice. My golf clubs are even built on the angles we kind of want to swing them on. But as I get moving, momentum or angular momentum as it transfers is always going to be working outward in a golf swing, okay? What, well, whereas if I was an ice skater and I want to spin faster, I'll kind of I'll try to bring things inward and it'll make my center spin more. So what I'm doing is I'm using these spinning movements or semi-spinning motions of the body, like the lower body and the thorax, and then into the arms and into the golf club. I continue to let them transfer momentum to each segment outwards. Now, what causes most bad shots and people don't really understand, and it's generally the issue, it's, it's the want to get more out of a golf swing, is that once you get it started, all you can do is let it go and it naturally speeds up. So as momentum transfers, that club keeps going faster and faster as it reaches away. And our object as a golfer is to learn how to get the maximum extent and the reach of that momentum to happen right about when it hits the golf ball. And that's why a golf swing looks so effortless and pure when, it, when it's done really well, is that it doesn't take a lot of muscle effort to get the momentum to, to work out. Now the issue, the issue that most players have with a golf swing is that they get up here and they feel like, hey, they can do something to the stick to make it go faster. Well, what ultimately happens, let's just say I got my swing starting really well. I'm coming down, I'm doing great, everything's going, the club is starting to really kind of get some energy, but then I try to speed my body up again. If I start to speed this segment up, it actually will stall this for a second, and then I got a problem. It doesn't want to swing until out here. Brain won't let you miss the golf ball, so then you got to start having to kind of flick at it. So, and these errors can kind of happen anywhere in the golf swing. So, a little exercise for you to try just to kind of understand momentum transfer from thorax into arms, so you can kind of feel this principle that we have to work on, is if I just spin and I start to rotate, because my upper body is so much heavier than my arms, almost immediately my arms start to swing outwards and my chest starts to stall. That's the transfer of angular momentum going outwards. The same thing will happen ultimately into the golf club. But if I actually get this started and then speed my, try to speed my chest up again, you'll feel your arms actually, see if I can do this a little bit better, if I try to keep speeding up, my arms will get kind of stuck against my body. So as I go, they'll start to expand, but if I speed back up, they'll actually reload and lag. And because the, 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 the kind of law of conservation of angular momentum, if I speed this back up, well, this is going to kind of work back in. So I need to be able to let the momentum continue to flow out of me in a continual, even pace so it ultimately lines up with the ball. So again, anytime I try to speed some element up that's already kind of expended its energy or it's done its job, it actually puts the momentum back in for later, but there is no later in a golf swing. There's only one perfect kind of moment to line everything up. It's one of the big challenges of golf is learning how to transfer that momentum. So I'll give you kind of a, just an example here of what that would look like. Player coming down, here we're going in slow motion, I'm starting good, and all of a sudden, the golf club's coming down, then I feel like I need to make my hips go faster. Well, if my hips start to go faster, all of a sudden, momentum gets kind of conserved for later, and then I'm forced to actually use my muscles and my hands and my arms, which makes a golf swing feel super efforted to actually hit the golf ball. But if I've learned how to let momentum flow out of me, all of a sudden, oh, that feels effortless. And I can just feel it kind of flowing from me because there's no, there's no break by my body or there's no brakes being put on the swing by my body trying to speed back up. If I try to speed my arms up at the wrong time, same thing. Okay, that's players trying to kind of, always trying to get that kind of perfect impact position. If you get going and you speed your arms up, it's gonna lag the golf club back behind you. So then you got an open club face. So anytime you try to add something when it's beyond the time of actually adding, or, at, behind, behind the, or it's beyond the opportunity you had to kind of get the momentum going, then you actually take something out of your golf swing, which will result in you know, chunks and hooks and slices, bad shots and miss hits. How do, you, how do you get better at understanding this? Well, it's almost impossible to learn with a golf club because of its rigid dynamics. 
But if I actually own a pro, the skill of the pro is to learn how to swing it straight, okay? And so to keep it straight all the way through the swing means that the momentum is actually flowing correctly, okay? If I can get that now to line up where I want it to line up, I start to really recognize like, wow, I only needed to do a little bit here to get a lot out on this way. But if I actually try to speed this thing up and try to go faster later, then all of a sudden, if we look at that in slow motion, we're gonna see this thing's bending like crazy. So this gives you a lot of insight into how momentum flows through the body. Everything has to stay extended and proportional to its position as it moves. So once again, if you don't understand that momentum or angular momentum is continually flowing out of you until the alignment point, then you're gonna have a really difficult time learning how to swing a golf club. So adding power or trying to move faster or turn faster mid swing, all it does is it puts sucks energy back into your body, but by then it's too late because your brain will react by using muscle to hit the golf ball. And then again, that's what makes golfers struggle. So hope you guys all found that helpful. Best solution to getting the understanding of how to actually swing and transfer momentum is to get yourself a pro.